Hello, welcome to the Tuesday, August 20th, 2019 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. In April this year, Apple released iOS 12.3 and with it fixed one of the last known jailbreak vulnerabilities iOS 12.3 has, as far as I know, not been jailbroken and the jailbreaking community really sort of was a little bit sort of out of ideas at this point. Well, leave it up to Apple to give jailbreakers new hope. Turns out in the very latest release of iOS 12.4, the old vulnerability that was used in iOS 12.2 and earlier was reintroduced. To take advantage of this re-released vulnerability, the Uncover jailbreak was updated today to version 3.5.3. With it, it should be possible to jailbreak the latest version of iOS on all current devices. Of course, this comes with the usual warning that by jailbreaking your device, you're also disabling a lot of the security protections. On the other hand, having a jailbreakable device, and there isn't really much you can do about this at this point, will allow an attacker with physical access to your device to jailbreak it and gain full access to the device. And one of the new features being rolled out with this month's Windows update was that SHA-2 signatures are now mandatory for all Windows updates. Now, Windows 8 and later are fully okay with that, but it turns out that Windows 7 and Windows Server 2008 R2 apparently have some issues with it, and it may actually be more related to antivirus solutions on these particular operating systems, not so much the operating system itself. Microsoft has released patches, so Windows 7 SP1 and Windows Server 2008 R2 are able to accept SHA-2 solutions. Now, up to now, what Microsoft had done was that updates were assigned with SHA-2 and SHA-1. It was sort of a little bit uh, Microsoft's own little system. They sort of had as a transition solution here, and it appears that Norton antivirus or Symantec antivirus does not recognize these SHA-2 only signed uh, update packages as legit and may actually block it. So as an intermediate solution, Microsoft will not install the latest set of security fixes if you have Norton or Symantec installed on a system. Then we got a new attack against Bluetooth. Now, this particular vulnerability does not affect some of the newer versions uh, like Bluetooth Low Energy, but instead goes all the way back to the original Bluetooth 1.0, which of course is still supported by current devices. And uh, well, uh, this vulnerability has actually been part of the standard for about the last 20 years. This vulnerability relies on an attacker being able to observe the initial pairing process. During that pairing process, there is a session key that's being negotiated and a man in the middle can manipulate the length of this session key. Usually up to 16 bytes can be used for the session key and of course it's very difficult, if not impossible, to brute force a 16-byte key. But due to this vulnerability, an attacker is able to negotiate that only a key of one byte will be used, which then, of course, is trivial to brute force. The group of researchers that experimented with this vulnerability did publish a list of different devices and how vulnerable they are. Lots of very current devices here, so this does not just affect old devices. Most of them are able to be negotiated down to one byte. The one sort of notable exception here is Apple's new AirPods. They can only be negotiated down to seven Seven bytes, still a substantially weaker key than the 60 bytes possible. 
From a defensive point of view, not really that much you can do about it other than being careful that uh, if you pair your Bluetooth device, do it sort of in a private area, not in a public uh, area. But uh, that's really the only thing uh, you can do at this point. And in general, the pairing, the initial pairing setup of Bluetooth devices tends to be sort of the critical part of uh, the encryption process here. So it's typically never a good idea to do that in a public place. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.